Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we will be working an example to determine the optimal location of the pump with respect to the surface of the water level that just satisfies net positive suction head required. I hope you find it useful. Okay, so here's the problem statement, and in this example problem, we will be setting net positive suction head available equals to net positive suction head required. Uh, this is likely not a very good design, but it's a pretty common approach in uh, academic problems. So the information that will be given will be fluid properties, the flow rate, and we will be provided the uh, head loss and the suction piping, so that saves us a lot of time uh, going through that. And we will also be provided the net positive suction head required corresponding to the uh, supplied flow rate. And we are going to be uh, working this twice. Uh, once at a temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and once with a water temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's start up. First, uh, water temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, provided the density, the vapor pressure, the flow rate, and the head loss in the suction piping is 6 feet. And the depth loss of suction head required is 40 feet. And again, that would normally be obtained from the uh, pump curves for the uh, given flow rate, uh, but it is provided in this example. Okay, so let's save some of our information. All right, let's review net positive suction head. Uh, net positive suction head is equal to the absolute stagnation head at the pump suction minus the absolute vapor pressure head. All right, so let's select the datum. It's always a good idea to select our datum at the pump suction. You don't have to, but uh, I find uh, typically this is the best way to do it. Okay, so with that datum, that means our water level, as shown, is six feet below our datum. So, I'm sorry, not six feet, but H below our datum. If it comes out to be a negative number, then that means the orientation is incorrect. And our pump, in fact, would have to be below the water level. But let's see uh, what kind of answer that we get. Okay, let's uh, select some uh, points to uh, apply conservation of energy. Alpha will be the uh, free surface of the water. And Bravo will be the pump suction. Okay, so conservation of energy, we can use that to relate the uh, total head at Bravo to the total head at Alpha. Conservation of energy tells us that the energy at Bravo is equal to the energy at Alpha minus the head loss from Alpha to Bravo. And that's convenient because we are actually supplied with this uh, head loss uh, from Alpha to Bravo. Uh, we can express this in terms of total head. And keep in mind that the head loss is supplied and is 6 feet. Total head consists of uh, three components, uh, the uh, pressure head, the velocity head, and the elevation head. Since this is a large tank where alpha is, the velocity head is essentially zero. And again, the uh, elevation of alpha with respect to our datum is minus h. All right, so going through, we can plug in our numbers. Pretty simple approach. And we get that the total head at alpha is equal to 33.9 feet minus H. Again, H is what we're looking for. It is the uh, elevation of the pump with respect to the free surface of the water. Okay, now let's go back to the total head, uh, conservation of energy. It says total head of Bravo is equal to the total head of alpha minus the head loss. So plugging that in, we get this equation for the total head of Bravo. And that's good, but we need, still need to determine the absolute vapor pressure head. And it is determined by the dividing the vapor pressure by rho g, the density times the gravity. So let's do that. And you'll notice uh, the conversion factors. And once again, uh, with these English engineering units, uh, we're going to need a g sub c to get the units to work out. And we do that, we get the vapor pressure is equal to 0 0.592 feet. Okay, well, now let's write down our equation for net positive suction hit available. And I want to note that this A in that positive suction head is available. This is the actual net positive suction head at the pump suction. It is not, repeat, not uh, location alpha. Uh, this designates the available net positive suction that actually is available, uh, how we have this pump oriented and set up. And we, again, our supplied required net positive suction head is 40 feet. And to solve this problem, we are going to set uh, the available equal to the required, and it contains one equation with our unknown H, and we're going to solve that for H, and when we do that, we get minus 12.7 feet. So yeah, note the negative sign. That negative sign means that our pump 
We uh, assumed it was going, it would be okay to be oriented above the surface of the water level. That is not the case. It needs to be below the water surface. All right, well, let's repeat that and see how it changes. Now our water temperature is 120 degrees. Uh, we provided the density, that has changed. The vapor pressure, that has changed. And the flow rate, the head loss, and the required net positive suction, they have not changed. In reality, I would have expected the uh, head loss and the suction piping uh, to have changed uh, a bit anyway. Uh, but that's not the focus of this problem, so we're going to carry through with six feet. Okay, going back in a little bit different direction, let's uh, calculate the absolute vapor pressure head first. And again, it's the uh, vapor pressure divided by rho g. And it's the same calculation. And except now we get 3.95 feet. At 60 degrees, we got 0.592 feet, so a little over six and a half times uh, greater than the uh, than what it was at 60 degrees. So quite significant. Okay, now we still need the uh, the uh, total he stagnation head at Bravo. Again, we're going to be using conservation of energy, and I am going through this pretty quickly because it's identical to what we did went through before. And some of the numbers are different. And we get the total head at alpha is equal to 34.3 feet minus h. Before we had 33.9 feet minus h. So this difference in density had a difference, but not a huge difference. And the head loss remains the same. And so now we have the total head at Bravo. We need to subtract from that the uh, vapor pressure head. And when we do that, we set that equal to the required net positive suction head, which again is still 40 feet. And solve for H, and once again, we get H is equal to a negative, this time 15.6 feet. Again, the negative sign indicates that the actual the pump location must be 15.6 feet below the surface of the water. So here's the final answer showing the new orientation of the pump that would be required. Uh, if it's 60 degrees water, it needs to be 12.7 feet beneath the surface. And we, if it was 120 degrees Fahrenheit, it would need to be 15.6 feet beneath the surface. So I hope that was a good review and helpful. Uh, if so, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.